A question you may have been asking yourself is, I have hard drives, but how do they work? The answer is magnets. And then I bring up the second question is, magnets, how do they work? Well, unfortunately, I'm not a rare earth metal scientist, so I can't answer that for you, but I can sure as heck explain hard drives. Remember, if you like our videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified when we upload and go live. So let's talk about the classic hard drive. This thick lad has really shrank in size. Did you know when they first started making these things back in 1956, they needed a forklift to pick them up? Not so much now. <laughs> I mean, you could try and deadlift it back in the day, but you'd risk at losing and dropping your data. All the five megabits gone. The classic hard drive has come a long way since 1956. It's exceptionally smaller now. We now have, well, this beautiful 3.5 inch hard drive that slides right into your computer's DMs. So what is the difference here from other storage options? Well, hold on to your hard drives. We're gonna get a little technical here and explain how a hard drive works. I think it's important to understand how they work, how they fail, and how they're a great option for storage to this day. Firstly, the hard drive has several mechanical moving parts. We have the platter, AKA the disc. It's made out of aluminum or glass and has layers on top of the aluminum that is composed of microscopic magnetized metal grains. This thin layer is where the data is physically stored. All your saves, memes, and more. And all this beautiful binary goodness. Here we have the arm. And at the very end, there's the slider. The slider is what contains the part that reads and writes the data. The slider physically never touches the platter. Instead, it's using an electromagnet to change the one and zero values on the layers of the microscopic metal grains. Also on the slider, there's a magnetic reader. So read and write. If this is really interesting to you and you wanna learn more, definitely check out the quick explanation video done by Ted Ed, linked in the comments below. The arm moves back and forth as the platter spins to read and write the data, kind of like a record. The larger the capacity of hard drives, the more layers of platters it has. Now that you know how this is physically all laid out and how delicate it all sounds, what are the benefits of the hard drive? The hard disk drive is something everyone is gonna want for the computer, as it allows you to store so much data at such a low cost. As of today, filming and editing this video, the hard drives we carry in Mary Express can store up to 14 terabytes per drive, a cost effectiveness of $54 per terabyte. Comparatively, the price of a solid state drive at $210 per terabyte. The price is getting lower and lower, and the capacity of these drives, well, it's only getting higher and higher. There's two types of hard drives you can get. An internal hard drive that connects directly to your motherboard with a SATA cable, and an external hard drive that you can carry around. It uses USB 3.0 to connect to your computer. Using anything lower than 3.0 connector will significantly lower the speed of your hard drive. Put it in the blue. Speaking of speed, it's pretty common knowledge that the hard drive is much slower than an SSD. This has to do with the mechanical parts that have to move, read, write. We will talk about SSDs and different types on the next episode. Now, what's the lifetime of a hard drive? Rewrites does not affect the lifetime of a hard drive, deleting files, accessing them, moving files around. However, since it's physically moving parts, reading and writing will eventually wear them out. You can expect about three years of lifetime out of your hard disk drive. However, with proper care, they can last up to 10 years. All of this makes the hard drive ideal for storage. They are especially ideal for NAS units, pictures, movies, video files, things that you don't require fast speed to access. In today's day and age, you can still have a fast computer while using hard drives as your OS and gaming storage solution. You'll have the cost effectiveness reliability, the read-write, durability that hard drives provide. Quick Steve Tech Tip! If you're doing some file management with your external hard drives, remember to delete your recycling bin before you eject it. You'll have ghost files taking up space on your hard drive. Spooky. I guess the ghost in the machine? Any damage done to the, any of the moving parts of the hard drive will wreck it. It is extremely delicate. So, here are a few things that you should be aware of that can kill a hard drive so you can avoid them at all costs and, well, save your data in doing so. First up, dropping. 
from any height. Boy, if you drop it, more likely than not, those files will be gone. You may get lucky, and the drive may still function, but if you hear a clicking noise that sounds something like the Predator, that's a sure sign of the hard drive going to hang out with the Grim Reaper. And, well, it's gonna take all your pictures with it, Hawaii vacations, hopefully you remember that because all those files are gone. In this situation that you get lucky and you can still access the files, I strongly recommend you transfer the data to a new hard drive and back the data up ASAP. Data recovery is very expensive and it's not guaranteed to work. Hard drives are built in a way to prevent dust from entering, but anything on the platter will cause the slider to be unable to read the data. Be aware of exceptionally dusty environments, kind of like the inside of a computer case. So clean it up, give a little air. Your computer case will thank you. Same with your hard drives. Another thing for you to be aware of is the drive's runoff magnets. As we just already discovered, a very strong magnet can jumble the data on your drive and everything you once knew is gone. So I don't know, putting magnets on the hard drive, don't do that. You'll lose all your stuff. And like we mentioned before, age will eventually catch up with your hard drive and take your data to the Grim Reaper. So back up your stuff, replace old hard drives, listen for those clicks and don't drop them. Don't eat them. Bam, hard drive disk care. Thank you for going on this journey with me and our deep dive into hard drives. We all learned about magnets, mostly. I guess I'm a scientist now of some sort. Thank you guys for very much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I'm Steve from Memory Express. You know where to find us online. Facebook and Twitter are the same. Official Memory Express for Instagram. You guys know about MEXP this month. We have a lot of great prizes. Thanks to our friends at Logitech. Don't forget to enter by commenting just on this video. Thanks again, guys. I will see you guys next week. So, a question you might be asking yourself,